Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler of Chandler Gaming back here with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. You'll be notified of all my videos. Let's just get down to it here. There we go. Okay. The last episode, we dealt with a mercenary group, which ended up being led by a clone of Shepard. We dealt with that clone. Now we have access to our very own apartment. And everybody's like, oh, let's let's do a party. Let's do a party. You have received a new message. Okay, the messages are not this way. What's this? Oh, stereo. Okay. Vega wants to come. Edie wants to hang out. Trainer wants to hang out at the arcade. Garrus wants to hang out. Yavik wants to hang out. Okay. So we're going to go explore the Silver Sun Strip. Okay, one thing we will do. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. We'll buy all the good stuff. If we can. Don't tell me the game just froze. Looks like it just did. Nope, it didn't. There we go. Okay. Yavix at three. We'll deal with Javik first, why not? He's just straight ahead, yeah. See this place is kinda confusing to go to get around. There he is, right here. Well, the meeting place, anyway. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming, too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. Oh. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom which we all urgently face draws near. Urgently so. 
But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. <laughs> yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. <laughs> comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean, no like Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed all- Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of him? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto-7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Rothian, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. <laughs> Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign Half Brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Kill the stunt double! Your line! Say your line! Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in a refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? <laughs> Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. <laughs> why is that so funny? Why, why is that movie so funny that they try to make? Okay. Now we're going to six. Oh, wrong side. Oh, he's upstairs. Okay, yeah, that's right. Did you catch the updated intel?
Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. Oh, shit. Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist? Commander? Kick her ass. Roger that. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here personally saved Grissom Academy. More than a dozen students owe her their lives. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. All right. <laughs> Zaid. I can never remember where Zaid is. I don't think he's this way. They're out of trouble. He's not. Stay out of trouble. Thought he was up here. There he is. Great prizes. You. You're mine, you bastard! God damn it! Said? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it! Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his manners once in a while. <laughs> Please. Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. All right. Here you go, sweetheart. 
Okay, Zaid. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. I can't get the orange. That's what I was after, but fuck it. Congratulations! You're a winner. So you detonate your tech armor in emergencies? Okay, and then we go to the bar. No, pretty much all the time. We can ride a newly restored clock to upstairs. Good night. In these times, don't How did you get your lead actor to work with a live pilot? At least I could pick up the prizes. I remember the first time I played that, um, I couldn't even get the prizes. Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. Garrus, I believe, is upstairs. What should we do first? There he is, yeah. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. <laughs> um, hmm. hello, and, hmm. Hello, she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but decent. He's blowing it! Oh, thank you, I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. <laughs> Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this 
thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Yeah, Shepard's a good wingman. Shepard's a good wingman. <laughs> and the party supplies, I believe, are up here. And they are. All right. We'll go ahead and have the party next, I believe. If I can remember how the hell to get out of here. Hey, how's Shorely treating you? There it is. The break was nice. We've been fighting. Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. Okay. Dude, I totally want Shepard's apartment. I totally would. I totally would. All right. Now, we'll change the Polish for you. Standard for you. We'll go vibrant for you. Go cozy for you. Basic recliner. Standard coffee table. We'll leave that alone. Okay. There we go. Everything changed. Okay. We'll do Edie and James and then we'll do the party. Why not? Shepard. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour. 
making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. <sighs> when you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent them. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. <laughs> um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the ring stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. <laughs> Are we getting married? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Mr. James. Let's see what he wants. Hey, loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <laughs> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. I noticed you don't really have anyone. Is that a question? I just... I haven't been in a real relationship since I joined the military. Bad combination, you know? Just wondering what you thought about that. Why are you still alone? I'm not against it. Just haven't really met the right person. Yeah, I suppose if I met the right girl, I might change my mind. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Yeah, it will be. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. What the hell? No. You've been holding out on me. Well, up bar we go. <clears throat> what have we here? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good.
<clears throat> we're gonna beat it. That's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> oh yeah. It's gonna take a little bit, but we're gonna beat it. Twenty. <clears throat> See, I doubt you need a lot of Paragon or Renegade to do this. This might take a while. <clears throat> you think? to go, my friend. It's really bad if you don't beat the record. It's just bragging rights to James. But if you beat the record, it's you get the bragging rights. So, you know. <clears throat> Getting tired just watching you. Cerveza? <clears throat> Shove it. <clears throat> okay then. <clears throat> That's sixty. High five. <clears throat> Funny. Huh?
Nice form. Impressive. Thanks. Just eighty two to go. <clears throat> See, I, I don't really understand why this is a thing, but whatever, you know, I, I always like doing it so. I would totally want Anderson's apart apartment, man. I totally would. You know, most people would be happy with just a hundred. Yeah, but I'm not most people. Stuff, Hefe. <clears throat> no, one thing I'm going to do this weekend. Um, it's Monday now when I'm recording this. Monday the 10th of June. And one thing I'm going to do this weekend. I'm going to cook me a nice dinner Saturday night. I'm going to cook me some homemade fried chicken. I got boneless, skinless chicken thighs in the freezer. I'm going to fry them up and turn them into sandwiches. You're going to be ripped, man. And I'm going to have, I have potatoes in the kitchen. I'm going to use those. I'm going to get some milk. So I can make mashed potatoes. I can make homemade gravy out of the grease. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Gonna make a pie, I think. 
homemade bread rolls. <clears throat> Gotta get the stuff to make green bean casserole, I think. <clears throat> I'm gonna be busy Saturday, I think. I think. Yeah, James ain't talking shit now, is he? Didn't think you'd get this far. <clears throat> you know what else I did earlier today? I found um, a Game Boy ROM for Pac-Man. I totally forgot they put Pac-Man on the Game Boy. <clears throat> it's just like the NES game, but only it's on Game Boy. And black and white. But it was fun. It's been a long time since I played Pac-Man. It's been a long time since I played Pac-Man. <clears throat> I only made it to the second Apple stage, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm sure if I practice, I could get better at it. You know what game I wouldn't mind trying to play again is Pac-Man World 20th Anniversary on the PS1. That game was fun. It got hard at the end, but it was fun. The second boss is like damn near impossible to beat. But there's a glitch to that game where if you enter a stage and then leave it, it'll think the game will think you beat it. Holy hell, you did it! I, I don't know what to say. How you feel it? <sighs> like I could do another 183. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, loco. <laughs> Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry. I won't. <laughs> All right. So now we can go ahead and start the party. We're going to invite all. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. <laughs> on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. <laughs> Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me 
party bega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple crowd. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? <laughs> Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I believe the expression is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> you know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. Okay, you know, Where's when Jacob was in charge. Excuse me? What specific time period are you referring to, Jeff? Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey. Not okay, Kasumi. True. However, Cerberus did successfully revive Shepard from a near-death state. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. <laughs> hey, look all who's here. Over the size of this apartment, the electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always wanted one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, you can serve this with, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are you sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? <laughs> Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Quake. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's vast. 
that's Normandy. <laughs> Von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times with the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. Huh? Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? <laughs> well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. <laughs> This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. I must have... Okay, I admit, when I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. <laughs> when I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. <laughs> exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. Show me the Okay. Take a look around here. Hello, Commander. All right. Nothing. Nothing. Ah, here's the rest of them. Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. <laughs> well, this apartment just bank hard to starboard. So who that is strongest? Is you or the tank bread? <laughs> yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. That's what I'm talking what about. What I miss. The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pajak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking. Yeah. Only one way to settle this. I'll let her know you said that. Now the party's starting. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, <laughs> oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? In my cycle, too many people in one room risked a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? That's true. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. 
Nothing escapes these eyes. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. <laughs> oh, this one's a funny one. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Oh. Uh, no. Great work. No oh, good. Thanks. No. See. Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No. Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard. Thanks for. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. I love you, Grunt. To drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. I could stop bullets with my mind. <laughs> you guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no really. Okay. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Zayn's trying to score! Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure of what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy, like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. Huh? <laughs> Aid's trying to score. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just Every saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean... Check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check me out. Go on. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, 
Don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You going there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I don't cool down, big guy. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking. Right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Come on, Ashley. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit up. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Goddess. I'm gonna have to go with James on this one. Aw, oh, thanks, Shepard. Biotics are a little intangible when there's an example of physical excellence standing in front of you. Nice. Great. Now we'll never hear the end of it. First questionable decision I've seen you make. Ever. I might need to get a little closer to have a look for myself. I think I can make that happen. You do know we're still here, right? <laughs> Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You can ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VR, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Should I find someone else to be? No! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. <laughs> that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? <laughs> True. Tommy, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. <laughs> well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. <laughs> it's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Oh, wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kira, did I forget to scam the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me, I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program, so I don't die. Uh. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward? Awkward. 
How do you not laugh at some of this? <laughs> I know one of these has Konsumi in it. Well, that was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics, we could we could stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics <laughs> and synthetics. No! No, 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 no! No! You can't even No! Oh, okay, sure. Send it my way. Oh. <laughs> How do you not laugh? How many bedrooms does this place have? This is a thing. Beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. Oh, he got shot down. <laughs> Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locked. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, Dr. Chop. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? I remember that. Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Is that true? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. Exactly. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Now that's a good point. You're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me. Shot for shot. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Jeff. Yes, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with 
It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So I won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh. Fine. What? You're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. Oh, As you wish. Huh? You are impossible. What? You're crazy. <laughs> Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I've found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. <laughs> Hell yeah! Ha! Go for it! Ha! <laughs> Captain on deck! Has he always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy! You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. One hundred and sixty. Seventy-five. Seventy-six. Seventy, um... Keep going. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little physical supremacy. But can you do that with a drink and a snack in each hand? Sure. Ugh. Wow. Not going to join in, Ashley? I'm good. Seem a little slow tonight, James. Well, nobody's perfect. How's it going on your end? <laughs> okay, now. Let's find a more fun way to get sweaty. Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Just wait. 
look. <laughs> hey, you two. What's up? Nothing. Really? No, Shepard, we're fine. <laughs> Lieutenant, did you just giggle? <laughs> I did not just giggle. I'm just, you know, I... <clears throat> Shepard, uh, can we help you with anything? Ash, James, come on, this is way. Come back out to the party. You're missing the fun. Uh, sure. Okay, Shepard. Only for you. Come on, Ash. Grunt? You okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. <laughs> and the fox of the boot special is finally back. Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Glad you could make it, Sammy. Thanks. I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. <laughs> well, at least I see. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. All right, that's going to be the end of shore leave. <laughs> See if anyone else is up. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. <laughs> Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Liara takes forever to do her, um, hair, or whatever she calls it. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Shepard, good morning. I am going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. 
I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I you not laugh. Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink it till I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085, 1086, 1087. Shepard. Okay. Shepard. Morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Oh, not, not so loud. Hey. Okay, who wants eggs? Liar, eggs, trainer. Esteban, eggs, Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs, Tally, ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Garrus, you know my eggs. Shepard, eggs, Shepard. I think I broke my head on something last night. <laughs> Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Shepard. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. Wild time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. <laughs> I mean, that's a cool little picture, having that there. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. <laughs> that was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Okay. Well, we're going to go back to Normandy and end the shore leave. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it.
Game on. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. My last one until you finish kicking the Reaper's asses, you mean? Because that's the plan. Can't wait to see what the hell you make us do next. It's been a good ride. <laughs> the best. Well, I'm going to call it for this video. Hope you all had fun. This video, I, I just did the short leap. So sorry it wasn't so action-packed, but, you know, it needed done. So, hope you all had fun. I'll see you all next episode.